Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Jasmine, we are trading at 0.003686, 24-hour volume, we're down 3.14%. In market cap, we are up 0.16%. So heading over to our daily chart here, you guys, take a look at this. We were waiting for confirmation again, closing above multiple moving averages. We've got confirmation of our 20 moving average and a retest of our 50 moving average. Now, as the price was increasing, we have this gorgeous just increase here of our volume and again we're hoping we do still get an increase of the volume as the price is coming up for confirmations for long positions now one of the things that we do want to take a look at is the rsi here so as the price again was coming up closing above the 20 ma we do see an interaction here of our rsi coming up to a hundred percent now notice again back here at thursday december 1st this is essentially where the rsi hits hit at a hundred percent and then trigger that selling opportunity here. So if we're able to pinpoint here at 100% where the price was at, we see that selling opportunity and then Jasmine itself came down once again. So very cautiously as we are coming up to close above our 50 moving average at an area of resistance here, we do want to make sure that we are making very small corrections. Now, as we saw here at the 100%, we made a huge shallow dip okay so if we are continuously wanting jasmine to close above and have a bull market opposed to a bear market we do want to correct very shortly and then continue upwards and find that area of support so here we do have an area of support that we may possibly test in the next couple of days dating back here on november 14th candlestick here on november 22nd and a few more here december 12th and december 13th at the price of 0.003526. So this area is going to be a high confluence area to see if the price is going to retest this area of support. Now what we may see again is coming down to an area of support, resistance support in a consolidation factor until again we get confirmation of the RSI giving us that um, buy opportunity. We do want the volume to increase as we are coming up to show that the increase in the price are both supported for again longer positions. Now if we take a look in a four hour time frame we want to make sure again if there is any hints of the price coming down we have these beautiful again these small corrections before the price comes up. Correction come up price correction come up, price correction come up. Now what we're seeing again is a triangle here, which essentially is either a continuation of this current movement, or it could either break down. Now um, in the two hour time frame, I was gonna show you what we saw yesterday in confirmation of what we saw, but before I go into our two hour time frame, we're gonna switch to high Kanashi candles. And high Kanashi candles essentially just shows us the trend itself. So if you see that, if you saw that candlesticks, you know, we see a mixture of green and red. Whereas when we switch it to high Kanashi candles, we're able to see very clearly what the trend is, multiple candlesticks. So keep in mind, we are in the four hour candlesticks here and we do see some red correction candles. Now in this red correction candles, we don't have any shaven bottoms, which does give us some hope again, that this is just a mere correction opposed to a huge correction here. I'm gonna see if I can put in parabolic SARS in here. No, I can't. Um, but typically with when we do pair high Kanashi and parabolic SARS, if we do see that indicator have the dots at the very top here, it does give us another signal that the trend itself is going to come down. But essentially here in the two or the four hour time frame, a few things that we do want to make sure in order for us to continue this strong uptrend here for Jasmine is making sure we do um, keep above our 20 moving average. And this is going to be this yellow line here that we see. So we can see that we ultimately broke it here on December 30th, held on to support ever since. We see that crossover from our 20 moving average above our 100 moving average, which is known as a golden cross, gives us hint that the price itself is going to go into a long term in whatever time frame that we are in a bullish way. Now, if we do see the opposite, it is considered a death star or death cross and that does completely do the opposite of the bear market now again we are coming up we do see the spinning top candlestick at the very top here which does signify an exhaustion of this uptrend and the price itself is going to come back down now if we take a look at 
at the candlesticks here, we do see again this engulfing candlestick opposed to this candlestick here, an inverted hammer. It doesn't really show inverted hammer anything at the very top, but we do focus on the candlestick body here, which is less than 50% um, at the very bottom, which we could, you know, signify as a shooting star candlestick. And again, an exhaustion of the uptrend compared it with this engulfing candle shows us some selling averages. So we are hopefully again going to be holding in this area of support that we see from our volume profile. The outskirts here that we're looking at is 353. If the price itself is able to hold into this area of supply and demand, then we are going to continue to try to retest the 61%. We do need that the um, we do need to see these two lines go further apart to strengthen another wave of our MACD indicator. If we do see them narrowing, it is a strong chance that we're going to be breaking this support and retesting the 20 moving average. If it does break the 20 moving average in continuous four hour candles, then we essentially lost this, um, this beautiful uptrend that we've seen for Jasmine. Um, but heading over to the two hour time frame, I wanted to show you guys here, we have confirmation of that beautiful golden cross as we see the 50 moving average um, closing above our 100 moving average. And in yesterday's video, we were anticipating that crossover of our 200 moving averages. So again, we've got our mo smaller moving averages crossing above our larger moving averages, which does give us that golden cross here. Now, one of the things we do need to hold, and I keep saying this, you guys, is to hold our um, 20 moving average here. So we can see a spinning top candlestick observed at the very bottom. This could signify an exhaustion of this downtrend near the 20 moving average and hopefully again retesting the 389. Now, one of the things we do see here is in a squeeze of our Bollinger Bands. We can see that the upper band and the lower band is squeezing in. It is amping for a breakout and we're hoping again that breakout is going to continue in the bullish way or in an uptrend. We do see that the RSI has triggered a buying opportunity. However, you guys, the uh, MACD indicator shows weakness in that MACD signal for that buy opportunity. So tread very lightly if you're doing the two hour time frame because the MACD indicator is showing us a massive wave here for the bears. So ever since here, we see this bear movement, we see the RSI itself trigger that buying opportunity. What we're going to expect is the price itself consolidate. So basically what that means is that the price is gonna consolidate from an area of resistance here that we've got at 3758 to an area of support. And we can see some of our candlesticks around this area here of support of 35807. So be just anticipate price kind of going sideways until we're either initiating a huge wave off for the MACD indicator or we do see the RSI increase and retest this area. If we do see weakness of our MACD indicator and we see lightness in the color coming out to this area of resistance, we may be able to break above it. Only a candlestick wick I'm anticipating um, just because it hasn't changed over, but essentially, yeah, that's kind of where I'm thinking where the price is at. It's gonna bounce from support, resistance, support, resistance. So let's double check this tomorrow. Definitely let me know what you guys think down below. Like and subscribe to the channel as well, but I'll see you next time.